Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today I'd like to talk a little about what happens setting up a coordinate system for an object type track. Now I've already done the tracking on this scene. And you'll see that we have both a moving camera and a moving object, which is that truck. So I've completed the track for both of these. And you can see there are a large number of trackers here on the uh, the bank of the hill and down at the bottom of the road and these ones down at the road I used for setting up the coordinate system at a uh, road level using the auto place mode and the only problem comes when you go and you look at where's my my truck right now the truck is sitting way down here well down below the road level so it's just what's going on here so the thing that you have to always remember is that you need to set up a coordinate system for both the camera and for the moving objects because there's no way to tell from these images whether the object is real close and moving only a tiny bit or very large and moving around a lot. And that's been the basis of movies such as Honey, I Shrunk the Kid where you can film things at different distances. And that optical illusion you know, works whether you're a person or a machine. So we need to take some additional information, you know, what we know as an artist, to get the right thing to happen here. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up a coordinate system for the truck. And we'll just pick out a couple of points. makes sense they're all just down at the base level of this truck and we've just gone and updated that coordinate system and that's really just moved around the null of the, the object the size hasn't changed at all now, the thing is we need the scale the real world scaling between the overall camera track and the object track to be the same in order for the object to be sitting at the right location in the scene. So how can we do that? What we'll do is go over to the 3D panel and we're going to set up a whole operation. So we're going to be operating on this object mode, you know, the track of the object as a unit. And that includes both its trackers and its path. And what we're going to do is adjust the overall scale of that and the scaling always happens with respect to the camera. So like I said you get exactly the same scene no matter what that scale is and you can see me changing around the scale and you know as we look you can see the other views everything's changing around But here in the image, nothing is happening at all. And that's, that's the basis of the problem and the basis of the illusion, the basis of the effect sometimes for shooting real movies. So what do we want to do? Well, we just need to go and adjust this scale so that we get the object right where we want it. We'll go and keep on adjusting it until we get the scale so that the trackers for the back bed of this truck are sitting right above the road level and now we have something that makes a whole lot more sense. Now if we wanted to do this carefully maybe we'd go and try and set up a tracker that tracks this bottom part of the wheel of the truck and that would give us the best possible sort of uh, reference to use to adjust the scaling of the object so that that exactly makes the tire hit the road. So I hope this helps you understand exactly what goes on with object mode tracking and why you have to adjust both coordinate systems to match up. Thanks.